Kylie? Yeah. What if I told you we'd found a dog that speaks better English than Farmer Nick? <laughs> I'd say it wouldn't be hard. In a giant leap for canine kite, there was a dog who could communicate English. This is amazing. Move over, Scooby-Doo. Back off, Brian. Meet Bunny, the sheep of doodle, sheep of doodle, who's undertake understanding of our language is better than mine. This is a site that we've been contributing to. Bunny has learned to press buttons that say English words aloud, allowing her to effectively talk to humans. For example, if she's missing dad. <laughs> Aw, Dad's on a climbing trip right now. To when it's time for a walk. <laughs> oh, forget sit, stay and roll over. Bunny is a star student. Love you. Oh, I love you too, Bunny. Oh, oh Bunny the dog joins us with her owner, Alexis, live from Tacoma <laughs> in Washington. Uh, welcome to the morning show. This is pretty cool. How does it work? Uh, well, it's based on AAC, Augmentative and Alternative Communication, which is uh, a device that speech language pathologists use to communicate or to help nonverbal people communicate. So essentially, I give each button a word or a phrase and through thousands of tiny repetitions and reinforcements, Bunny learns the, uh, the association with that button and starts to use them. Well, wow. how long has it taken Bunny to figure out all the different buttons? And can you help me speak better English? <laughs> Perhaps, I'm not sure. Um, we've been working on this for 10 months. She's got about 50 buttons right now, and many of those we're still working on, but she uses the majority of them pretty frequently. Wow. wow. Now, for anyone who's watching who's a bit sceptical, uh, we've got a clip here that may just change your mind. Have a look. Oh. Oh. Help, ouch. Where? Where, ouch? Let me look. Okay, so you discovered a thorn in her paw. So you didn't teach that phrase. That just came autom that just came automatically, did it? The the ouch. No, I did. I did teach it. And how I taught it was when we were um, teaching bite inhibition as she was a puppy. I would use ouch if she was biting too hard. Um, and then I had a bunch of tattoo work, and so ostensibly I had an open wound on my arm, and she would sniff it, and um, then I would model ouch. She's actually chatting right now. She said, sound mad. <laughs> as, as, in, as in the Australian TV host sounds crazy? Is it like sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps that's what she's saying. Oh, no. um, no. So, yeah, she actually has learned the meaning of ouch, and she's been able to use it twice to tell me that she was in pain. It's pretty remarkable. Wow. This is remarkable. Bunny is, of course, a celebrity now. What are we talking, 44 million likes on TikTok. Does she get recognised when you're out and about? Yes, it's so funny. I was at the dog park earlier today and um, there was another woman there. We were playing with her dog and with my dog. She was throwing the ball. And then I got a message on Instagram when I got home saying, I was too starstruck to talk to you at the park, but I just met you and we love you. It's hilarious. So I'm just interested, during the, in the course of a day, Alexis, would she just walk up randomly and press a button depending on her mood? Yeah, absolutely. She initiates conversation constantly, uh, particularly if I'm ignoring her. So uh, during interviews or when I have friends over when I'm on the phone, she's very, very chatty. But throughout the day, she'll also just let me know if she needs to go outside, if she has to go poop or if she wants to go to the park or play ball or if she's happy. Sometimes she'll just narrate what's going on. If I'm sitting on the couch, she'll say mom <laughs> couch. Oh, is, wow. That's is, there, awesome. is there a button that actually says poop? There is a button that says poop. Um, she, she's quite fond of it. I think the funniest thing she's ever said and also happened to be one of her longest conversations was uh, home concerned soon poop yes. It was just so earnest and so much um, sort of like intensity in it. Like I'm very concerned that we're home. I have to go poop now. It just reminded me of a toddler. It was very, very funny. funny. Well, this is a trend that seems to be taking the States by storm. Uh, how popular is it? Do you know of other uh, dog owners who, who are doing this with their, with their fur babies? Oh. There are so many people doing this right now. It's really remarkable. Christina Hunger sort of started this movement, and now, I mean, I probably know of 50 accounts personally that are doing this, and I'm sure there are just hundreds of other people that are doing this. It's, it's remarkable. Is there any chance uh, we can get a little bit of a demonstration now? Does uh, Bunny work like that? Um, she, not really, but we can try. She's laying down at the moment. We can see if she has anything to say. Uh, what would you like me to ask her? 
Well, there's, oh, no just... swear, there's no swear words on there, is there? Like you can... No. <laughs> she can't, <laughs> she if, can't tell you to. If we go can just m maybe quickly get her thoughts on Eastern European reform or just something. <laughs> Easy. Oh, no, no, just, just any, you know, just sort of any. Oh, what about her thoughts on Donald Trump? <laughs> okay, well, we already know what her thoughts are on Donald oh, Trump. Poop, poop, poop. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Okay, so let's see here. Shall I flip my camera then? Yeah, sure. We'll give it a go. Here we go. We understand. Oh, she looks pretty relaxed. She is. She is pretty relaxed, but we can see. Funny. Hi. Do you want to play hippo? You want to play hippo? <laughs> you know what? It's all right. We just, we, don't worry. We, we, it's oh, she's on. beautiful. Oh, don't upset her. Oh, no. Look, she okay. looks so relaxed. It's all right. It's still better yes. television than a drunk uh, pirate <laughs> farmer. So we're having a good day. But lovely to talk to you this morning. Which will make no sense to Alexis. Um, she's... No, I saw that one, I think. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's, it's very memorable. Uh, Alexis, so lovely to talk to you. And Bunny is just adorable and very clever. Thank you so much for having me on the show. It's very, been a lot of fun. Very clever. You know, Bunny gets a few more words. You know, because there might be a bit of a shift with Ellen's show. <laughs> Bunny could take over Ellen's show. That would be good. There we go. There, there we go. go. Now you're talking. Good to talk. Yeah, have a great day. See ya. Beautiful.